Interested to know why these people have come to live in Bulgaria? Well, I asked them these four questions. Why did they choose Bulgaria? What do you like the most about Bulgaria? Have you ever had any culture shocks? Do you have any advice for anyone wanting to move to Bulgaria? Hello everyone, my name is Joanna Alcantara and I am from Dominican Republic. For the last 12 years, I have been living in Sofia with my family when we were relocated from Gibraltar. And I must say, for us, it has been a blessing to raise our kids in such a peaceful and friendly city and safe very important um, one piece of advice i would like to give to anyone who is uh, deciding to move to sofia or to bulgaria or who is being relocated to bulgaria is to be patient be patient with yourself be patient with the locals because for you and for them this is a totally new experience bulgarians are very friendly and very welcoming but be patient with the process uh, one of the things that took me a hard time to, <laughs> to understand was uh, the, Bul the Bulgarian, the Cyrillic alphabet. Uh, so many times I confused the, the letters because they are similar to the, um, to the Roman alphabet. So and in, in other ways, sometimes I had to just twist my head trying to, to understand or at least trying to read the signs. And uh, I also can remember how confused I used to get when I was asking a questions to the Bulgarians, and the first reaction was no. <laughs> so all the times uh, I was expecting a yes, but the answer was no. <laughs> Anyways, uh, with the time we, you get uh, used to, to this and, and you can have such a ple pleasant stay in Bulgaria. Hello, my name is Roger Singh. I'm 70 years old, retired, and I live in Bulgaria. I came here three years ago, following my retirement from the civil service, for a better life, a, a, a quieter life. Um, why Bulgaria? Well, to be honest with you, uh, I didn't even know there was a country called Bulgaria. I, I, I just simply worked in finance all my life, did research, I was an internal auditor. So I thought, well, you know, where can I go in the world where I can afford um, a better quality of life uh, than I can get in the UK, you know, for my pension. And I'd been given a lump sum, which wasn't much. Uh, so I decided to do a study. And I studied more than 50 countries. So I looked at, you know, crime rate, property prices, cost of living, population, you know, facilities, things like that. And this country called Bulgaria came top of the list on, on, on all the categories. So I thought, well, you know, I haven't even heard of Bulgaria. I don't know anybody there. Yeah. But it, it beat the competition. So I decided that that's where I would want to go. And <laughs> this will make you laugh. Um, I went on eBay. And I bought my house, this 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 house here, on an auction on eBay for 15,000 quid. Hi, I'm Gareth Stamp. I'm 58 years old. I've lived in Bulgaria for nearly two years. Uh, I'm an author and illustrator of children's books. And that's one of the reasons that I love Bulgaria is because of the peace and quiet and tranquility that enables me to do what I do, which is be creative. Um, I've lived here now for nearly two years. I live just outside of Gabrovo in the centre of Bulgaria. I live in a forest. Uh, there is nobody around me at all. It's very peaceful and very tranquil. Um, and as I say, that's why I love Bulgaria. Bulgaria, um, why did I choose it? Well, I didn't choose it. It chose me. Um, I was living in India where I was working at the time and uh, in the middle of lockdown I needed a base to go to because I knew I was leaving India and I got online and I bought a house in Bulgaria um, without seeing it. I'd been to Bulgaria once before for a week um, but as I say it just uh, called out to me and I came and here I am. Um, I don't regret buying buying it online I don't regret not seeing it 
Um, obviously, if I'd have done a bit more research, I could have perhaps gone to a different area, but that would be my advice to people coming here. Do a bit of research beforehand uh, and try and find something that suits you. Um, obviously, some people want to be by the coast, some people want to be in the towns, cities. Uh, some people want to be where there are lots of other expats. I personally don't. Um, I, I enjoy my own company and I enjoy being here and, and being with the locals, to be honest. Where to live, right? Now, I, I, in a sense, was dictated to because of the location of the house I bought. Uh, but it turned out absolutely wonderfully because Haskovo, uh, this is a province in the, in the south of, of, of Bulgaria. Um, <clears throat> It's a place where, fortunately, uh, there's not many other Brits. And I say fortunately because um, all the Brits seem to, to gather around certain areas, right? And then, you, you know, you, you, you get in touch with them and, and you become friends and they talk to you and they say, Do you know what? I wish I hadn't moved in this area, you know, because all these other Brits, you know, they brought all their bad habits with them. You know, they're backbiting and talking behind your back, you know, and... And it's, it's, it's I'm all right, Jack, or, or you know, keeping up with the Jack. All those, you know, you know, if you move somewhere where you're on your own, you've got your privacy and you're not a part of that crowd, right? And that's something to think about. You know, do you really want another part of, of a little Britain around you? And, and most people have found that that's not a good idea. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Roger Singh. Uh, my... I'm the Roger Singh with the Concord icon, right, uh, and, and, and the Bulgarian Roger Singh. Um, so, um, you know, if you have any questions at all, feel free to, to message me. Uh, I'll be, be great, you know. And if you decide that you want to come and live uh, in, in this part of Bulgaria, uh, in, in the south, in the Haskovo province, you know, and we might be neighbours. Please come and, 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 and see me. And, and, you know, if you want a holiday, I've got a two bedroom apartment downstairs, which I'm currently renting out uh, on short term and long term rents. It's a brand new apartment. Everything in there is new. So, um, somewhere nice to stay. Uh, and um, I hope you uh, make up your mind to, 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 to come here. And, uh, you know, give us uh, expats. Uh, I regard myself as Bulgarian now. Yeah. So welcome to our country. Welcome to Bulgaria. Leave England behind. And I'll tell you what, you won't look back. Uh, the strangest thing is that you'll never get me going back there again. Hi, I'm Susan and I'm 61 and I come from Greater Manchester. Hi, I'm Jeff and I'm 66 and come from Cornwall in the UK. And we live in? We live in the Valley of the Roses in Bulgaria at the base of the Balkan Mountains. And why did we come here? Uh, basically, Jeff got a small redundancy package a few years ago and we decided that what we'd really like to do with it was to buy a holiday property. We only had £12,000, but believe it or not, in Bulgaria you can buy a holiday property for £12,000. So we bought the house about 15 years ago and then we were able to take early retirement here five years ago. What we like about Bulgaria? Everything. Uh, the clean air, the lack of pollution, uh, the people are friendly, the food is wonderful and we get lots of sunshine. And what is a culture shock? Well for me that was the amount of stray animals which can be really distressing. So we've now adopted nine of them. For, uh, for me, personally, it was getting used to a couple of things. One, learning the Cyrillic alphabet. And two, the fact that this is yes in Bulgarian and this is no in Bulgarian. I still get it mixed up. And what advice would we give to people? Well, for me, that would be integration, integration and integration into the Bulgarian way of life. Don't spend all of your time with expats get to know the Bulgarians and the Bulgarian way of life because it's great. Yes and if you do that and you learn to speak Bulgarian they will take to you much quicker uh, if you make the effort. Even if you can only say a few words. My name is Eva, I'm 35 years old and I'm Bulgarian. 
Now I'm living in this beautiful, beautiful place in Bulgaria. But I came back here from the Netherlands and I moved together with my husband a month ago. And we loved it. We, we really, really love being in Bulgaria. I will show you now uh, the beautiful the beautiful garden we have. And I will tell you actually why we moved. We moved because we wanted to have a house with a garden. And everybody from the Netherlands knows what is the housing crisis right now there. How difficult it is to ha to find a house, how difficult it is to, to, to find the right house and how difficult it is to buy. So Bulgaria gives Bulgaria actually gives a solution to all these problems. Here especially in the villages, it's full of houses that are empty and uh, a lot of houses are for sale and you can have for, for like a fraction of the money you can have a garden. So for me that was the most uh, the, 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 the most important reason. Also I want to be closer to my family. For me culture shocks I even had culture shocks, even though I'm in, I'm Bulgarian. For me, it was different to difficult and different to experience the administration, uh, the the all the paperwork that I had to do, even to open up simple bank account. That everything is happening slowly, and um, you need to speak Bulgarian for everything. And yes, okay, I don't have that problem. But imagine if I, my husband came here alone. He had to hire a translator because we live in the countryside, nobody is speaking English here. So it's kind of challenging but also beautiful and great. And let me show you now where I am. So my name is Benjamin Wild. I have been living here already since 2018. Sometime in the summer 2018 I came here. Um, I was living in, in Dresden in this uh, Baroque city in, in Germany for like five years and uh, I was just about moving back to Berlin and I uh, basically just simply decided before I go back to Berlin I'm gonna have a, a, a bit of vacation from a, with a friend of mine who is uh, his dad is from Vana so we just come here and uh, while our stay here I just really just fell in love with like the vibe of the city the tranquility everything is a bit more smooth you know the villagers are so friendly and this is something else that you find that's different you know when you're on a tube train in london and and, and nobody wants to look at you you know people are looking away you don't get that here here people are friendly i i, I first time i went shopping in haskell i couldn't find a supermarket and i was standing there lost and a woman came up to me and she spoke english and she said excuse me are you all right I said, well, I'm looking for, you know, the little uh, supermarket. Oh, she said, it's this way. And, and she actually walked some of the way with me and showed me where the supermarket was. And I was stunned and I didn't think that uh, uh, that's, you're not used to that kind of assistance and help, you know. Uh, in, in, in the UK, sadly, you're more likely to get mucked than, <laughs> than get helped. Uh, it's a sad thing to say. And I decided I'm not going to move to Berlin. I'm just going to move to Vana for some time. And uh, that happened in 2018 in the summer. Several boxes already have been shipped by uh, DHL to Vana. Arrived smoothly, no problem. I was a bit first skeptical uh, to Bulgaria. Is this everything okay with the, you know, delivery, etc. But just like every other country, boxes arrive here, delivered to your house. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video. It's also interesting if you write the reason why you want to move to Bulgaria if you do, or if you've already moved here. So the other thing I noticed, I mean, you'll notice that I'm an Asian person, uh, right? And I'm from an ethnic minority. And sadly, my experiences in the UK are not pleasant. You know, you get called names, you get stones thrown at you, you get vandals. You, you know, wrecking your car one night because they don't like foreigners, you know. And in the four years that I have been here in Bulgaria, I have not had a bad word said to me or anyone look at me in, 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 in any kind of way, you know. And everyone's been so nice. The day I, I moved into my house, um, 
my neighbor came and, and he took me for a coffee. And every man in the village was assembled. And they all shook my hand and welcomed me and said, we're, we're a family here. And you're a part of our family. And if ever you need help, we're right behind you. Hi, my name is Amy. I'm an American expat, originally from New Jersey, and I'm currently living in Sofia, Bulgaria. I met my husband in New York, and he was Bulgarian, and we decided to relocate in Sofia for his job, and I've been living here for 10 years now. I'm very, very, very happy here as an expat. Um, one of the best things I think about living here is the small expat community. They're very welcoming and friendly, and basically they're my home away from home. Well, what advice would I give an expat? I would say just put yourself out there and think about what you like and what kind of interests you have. And if you like skiing or being in the outdoors or yoga, there are so many different groups and it's really easy to make friends. So um, just put yourself out there and, and the energy will come back to you. What cultural shocks have I had? Well, uh, I would say driving. Um, it's a little bit different than driving in America. So the parking spaces are really tiny and so um, driving into the malls or the grocery stores, it's hard to fit a big car into a really small spot. But on a positive note, one of the best cultural shocks or surprises I have is how the Bulgarian people treat babies and little kids and they love babies. And I was fortunate enough to be pregnant here twice and have two babies and raise two little children here. And they're so kind. They let you cut in line and they just love babies. So that was really cool. So my name is Ben. I'm from uh, Adelaide, South Australia, and I'm 27 years old. I wouldn't say I chose Bulgaria, but um, I probably f more found out about it from my father. He remarried a Bulgarian in 2014 and uh, we came here in 2017 and he's been living in Vienna since then. Yeah. I live close to the Jatalja market and uh, I've been living there now for two and a half or three years now. So. Half a year I basically didn't do nothing except having enjoying life on the beach because Vienna is on the seaside so uh, it was definitely very comfortable to be here and uh, enjoy a bit the time. I jumped into working a bit for um, some German companies, uh, looking for some business opportunities here in Vienna. And uh, until now I have opened my social media agency here. I'm doing social media for uh, local, but also for actually mainly uh, German clients and uh, uh, legally very simple, organized, not so complicated like in Germany. If you want to start up a company, it's just simply you go get the paperwork done and, and that's it. You just start, you know. Uh, I think the biggest culture shock for me was uh, how many traditions the Bulgarians have. There's uh, a lot of traditions for Easter for Christmas of course as well but I mean like uh, other traditions like uh, if you're having a baby for example uh, you're not allowed to show it to the public for 40 days or uh, if someone passes away you celebrate after those 40 days and celebrate their life basically so. One piece of important advice, uh, probably if, if you're walking around the center and uh, try and avoid people that are asking you for money, because 90% of the time it's a scam. So, and uh, don't fall for it. Hi, my name's Barbara. Uh, I moved to Bulgaria in 2012. The main reason was because it's actually cheaper and it's quieter and we live by the sea. It's a more peaceful existence really. There are many things I like about living here. The people are friendly, the uh, food is good and most of it is actually natural, organic really. We grow up some of the things ourselves in the garden. Um, in the summer the weather is fantastic and we have a, a pool and in the winter it's quite cold and sometimes snows so I do prefer the summer. The thing, the culture shock I had was seeing all these street animals 
everywhere. Uh, dogs and cats, sometimes they've been killed, run over. I find that very sad. It's not something I'm used to. And although we find the people friendly and we're very happy, uh, sometimes the customer service isn't brilliant in restaurants and when you buy things and if you have to take them back. Other than that, we have a good life, we've made friends, we mix with Bulgarians as well as other nationalities, not just British people. The advice I would give is if you're going to buy a property, find an independent lawyer who's not connected with the estate agent or the seller and do a lot of research, uh, make sure all the paperwork is completed satisfactorily and... So this is definitely something I highly appreciate from Bulgaria, the opportunities to, to start something uh, comes like with very low effort and risk taken. Culturally, I would say uh, yes, Bulgaria for me is quite different. Um, there are many people from, from uh, um, Slavic countries living in here uh, as foreigners, as I am as a foreigner as well. And for them, probably it's a bit easier um, but I have my small little German community in case I want to feel a bit more home. Uh, generally speaking, Bulgarians are very, very comfortable with uh, having people from other countries. Um, I always felt very much welcome. Here's one advice I would like to share with you. Don't push. For sure, don't push. Uh, people do their stuff here the way how they do their stuff here. People are more than willing to help you, but if you force them to help you, if you push them to help you, they will just gonna have you longer on hold, you know. Be nice to them, ask them if you can assist them, if there is something that causes the delay, but people really just, they don't really push, you know. So please just also don't push too much. If you come here with, let's say, expectations from your hometown, uh, your, your, from the attitude you grew up with, just try to understand that these people here, they grew up differently. And that's why everything works a bit more relaxed. My name is Dina and I am from Denmark. I moved to Plovdiv, Bulgaria in 2013. I chose Bulgaria because of love. Uh, or maybe Bulgaria chose me, I don't know. Um, I moved here because of my now Bulgarian husband. The best thing I have found about life in Bulgaria is the slower pace of life. The biggest culture shock I had when I moved here is how long a meal can last. The most important advice I would give to a new expat is to go with the flow, don't take things too seriously and just enjoy. My name is Kim, I'm from uh, Denmark. I'm here with my uh, wife. I'm Concepcion Yaona. I come from Philippines. Yeah. I lived in Asia for many years and uh, we wanted to move to, uh, to Europe. And uh, Denmark is impossible to, uh, to, to immigrate to as a, as a mixed couple. So we had to choose another EU country. And I spent the last couple of summers here in Varna and I really uh, loved the city and I enjoyed myself here. And uh, so I, I talked my wife into coming to Varna. Yeah, the whole immigration process here was also a little uh, uh, iffy uh, because in immigration office here nobody speaks English, so you you have to bring somebody uh, local to translate for you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, normally in an immigration office, this is a place where some where they should be able to speak different languages. But they have they are very uh, proud about the languages language here and. Uh, in regards to immigration, bring bring a bring a local that can translate for you. There are plenty of services around that uh, that can do that. Uh, but it, doing it yourself is a daunting task. It's, yes. it's, it's, it's yeah. We moved here to Varna. We uh, out by the, the the Red Square area. Yep. Uh, this uh, in the Greek neighborhood right now, but the Red Square area is easier access for shopping and stuff like that, groceries. Uh, but sea garden. Very close to Sea Garden. Yeah. Dobro den priateli. As a Martin of Nederlandia. I will continue in English because my Bulgarian is not that good yet. <laughs> I live in Bulgaria in the Velko Turnovo region and I ended up here because, 
well, my work brought me here. Uh, I started off in Sofia and then it turned out they had a branch here in Veliko Tornovo and uh, that's where I went. So I'm living here now in a nice house with a nice garden, really. The real culture shock for me was the absence of bicycles, uh, the virtual absence of bicycles. Every now and then you see a cyclist, but not to the extent as you find them in the Netherlands. You know, when you drive your car in the Netherlands, <laughs> You have to be very careful not to run any cyclists over uh, and most of the time those cyclists are completely suicidal. Um, that is not the case here in Bulgaria. But what I like the most actually is a bit up north which is uh, Nikopolis at Istrum which is an archaeological dig site and they are still digging there because there um, uh, not too long ago they found a beautiful preserved Roman city. It's wonderful to walk around there and to imagine how the Romans and the, the locals back then walked around there and did their thing uh, in, in this wonderful country. I can absolutely advise everybody who wants to come and live in Bulgaria, come to Veliko Tornovo. Hello, my name is Abigail Thompson. I am 21 years old and I am from uh, the US, Massachusetts to be more specific. I started off uh, in Sofia here in Bulgaria, but I am currently living in Plovdiv. I'm actually a missionary for my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, so I did not pick uh, coming here to Bulgaria, I was just assigned here and I couldn't be happier. I love it. I think the best thing that I have found about life here in Bulgaria is probably that the people here are very, very um, loving and super, they're very reserved, but they just will be so happy when they recognize any of your efforts and getting to learn about their culture because they are very um, proud of their history and it's a it's a beautiful thing and so they love to see the effort that you have to put in with learning their language or learning more about who they are. As someone who loves to put ice in my drinks all the time and something I, I had to get used to was that Bulgarians don't usually use ice that much with their drinks. Another one that I really love and it's one of my favorite culture shocks is that there's a bakery basically every 10 steps you take and it just smells amazing. The most important advice I could give is learn the language. Hi my name is Stephen, I'm in my early 60s. My wife and I moved to Bulgaria 10 years ago. We done two years research of all the usual suspects, France, Italy, Spain, Germany etc. and Bulgaria ticked more boxes when we done a cost benefit analysis. So we moved here. We are in Balchik on the northeast coast. It's a very nice, quiet place. It's uh, not too busy in the summer. Uh, not too many culture shocks. So, um, but the most two most important bits of advice I had when I first arrived in Bulgaria was when you see a uh, property, if it hasn't got Act 16, you walk away. And funny enough, beware of the Brits. And I've really found that to be true. Most of the problems we've had have been with the English people, not with Bulgarians and other nationalities. If you're living in Bulgaria or you're choosing to live in Bulgaria, then I recommend that you watch this next video where I'll give you some top tips how to save money while you're here.